Hello YouTube, this is Stanley Dragon Jr. getting back to you. I have been absent because I've been working and sick. I'm going to do this as a short video on why I now collect travel sprays and travel uh, atomizers. First of all, I started with Creed. I um, like the atomizers that they had. I love collecting them. I love being able to take it with me and the piece of jewelry. And then when you buy Creed, you buy the biggest bottle and you decamp, blah, blah, blah. I did the same thing with Tom Ford. So I started to get into fragrances a little while ago. Hashtag I blame Sam, uh, a friend of mine. And I started to get addicted to different fragrances. Uh, no, no, I'm not blaming Sam. I'm just, you know, it, it, I have purchased a few because of her. Uh, so this is a really quick video just to show you why I'm not buying the giant bottles anymore. And as a, I guess they, somebody called me a perfume, perfumista the other day. Uh, and I, I kind of like that, I guess. I call myself a fragrance freak or a perfume addict. So basically um, what I've done is I like to try a lot of things and I don't mind a little bit. I hate to buy a big bottle and ruin it, ruin it. You know, when you're halfway done with something, you've got to throw it out or get rid of it. And this way, I um, can try a little bit, and it's it's uh, more portable and easy to take with me. So this we're going to start off with Maison Francis Kirkajan. I He happens to be, and you probably don't know this, you're probably wearing something, own something from him right now. He's one of these young geniuses that came out of perfume school, and he made like um, Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamel, he made Narciso Rodriguez, he does all the Burberries, he's done for Dior, he's done for so many fragrance houses that you probably don't even realize that. You, Carvin, he's, he's made so many fragrances, he decided to make his own line. Well, what he did was, this is basically his line, there's a few others, and this is the... Uh, men's fragrance wardrobe and let's ooh, this is the woman's fragrance wardrobe they're exactly the same with the exception of um, a la rose which is a, fe a feminine fragrance there and uh, a p o m means a part of me so this fragrance wardrobe retails for 200 us and I got to try the women's fragrance and the men's fragrance set. And I do like a lot. Of, they're very light. Nothing is heavy. They're very light. Uh, Aqua Universal Forte is one of my favorite all-time fragrances. I will probably buy that in a large bottle. I don't think they make that in the set that I want from the European website, which I did try to order. And my credit card kept saying, fraud, fraud, fraud. So I am trying to figure out a way to have that scent. But for the price of this bottle... Three of the travel sprays and the Globe Trotter, which is the atomizer. It's like paying for a bottle and a half. So I'm I'm really excited to do that. I just want to pick one. So Aqua Vita Forte is also beautiful. A la Rose is the only one in this whole set that I don't really love. I don't not like it. It's just not my favorite. Uh, APOM is a part of me. Lumini Nior is my second favorite. Amorous Femme is nice. Uh, feminine Plural is nice, and Oud Satin Mood is quite delicious. The Ouds are quite pricey. They're 50 to 75% more than the regular line from Maison Francis Carcajon. I do like the, let's go back across. And this is the men's versions. And you get the regular Aqua Universal, Aqua Universalis, and the regular Aqua Vita. And they do give you the Aqua Vita Forte. You got a piece of me, men, luminaire, no hum, amores hum, masculine, plural, and oud satin mood. So the f one, two, three, four in the middle is basically the repeat from the women's line. So I'm going to try them. This is what they look like. I am going to try them. They are 11 milliliters. And I do want to get one or two bottles. But this is an easy way that I could enjoy the whole set. I do spray the men's on the left and the women's on the right. And then during the day, the men's usually wear a little longer than the women's. The women's is a little softer. And everything wears differently on different people. That said, I went to Brairito on my uh, on a recommendation from Dear Dear Sam, Snape HBP. Uh, she had me addicted to gypsy water, which I did buy. I did not buy the bottle. I did buy the, the set of these three travel atomizers. And it has nothing to do with the money or it has nothing to do with the fact that, you know, it's not as expensive as buying the whole bottle. It's just easier. I don't have to commit and it's portable. Uh, this is not focusing. Anybody who uses the iPhone 6S, this is the first time I'm using it and to film. And I'm not loving it as much as my note. So now to make it portable, usually what I used to do is take my... Um, little baggies from my Hermes Nomads and stick them in there, but there's still a way that the top can be depressed. 
I am getting an atomized, and I will tell you shortly which one I am going to get. This is the set from Atelier Cologne. Loving these. I did buy the largest bottle. I know I went back to the, as, uh, as uh, somebody said, uh, buying my jug of cologne. Uh, I did buy the Orange Sanguine, and I do like um, Pamelo Paradiso. <laughs> Pamela Paradis, yeah, Paradis and Mandarin Glass. I also, I did get as a gift the Sephora, ooh, um, the Sephora, you know, you try them all and then you get to pick one. And this is the one, Sud Magnolia, which they said to pick. I don't know if I want it yet. And I did call Sephora and say, I got it as a gift. Can I pick something else? They're like, no. You make a couple of phone calls. They're like, yeah, maybe. And then you make a couple more. And they're like, okay, come and let us know. If you don't like it, you can get something else. So that's really what's going to happen. And I'll see if I do want to suit Magnolia or if I do want to get something else from the set. And then we're visiting Maison Francis Kirkajan again. I am getting the large bottle of the Baccarat Rouge 540 unless they come out in this size. Because um, it, it is it, that is one I do recommend every single person to try. Baccarat is the uh, crystal house, and he did make 500 bottles, and it was like it's like five thousand dollars or something like that. But it is incredible. I did have a chance to try it. He did make one version in his own line. It's a little different. It's just as magnificent. I do phone. There it goes. I do recommend. Here, let me show you. This is more important. I do recommend you guys um, at least trying Baccarat Rouge 540. And if you do want to try one of these, I recommend the Aqua Universal Forte. It's very light and fresh. The Aqua Vita Forte is also very, it's, it's just delicious. A la Rose, if you like Rose, you'll love A la Rose. But like, it's Rose. It's not like a Mez Pamplemousse Rose or it's a fresh Rose or um, John Malone Intense uh, Rose Water and Vanilla, which smells like a deep rose kind of hint. This is, hi, I'm a rose. You're going to smell like a rose. This is a rose. And um, yeah, Lumen and Nior is also quite beautiful. And Satin Oud is, if you like Oud, is, is, there's an Oud set out. Um, it's magnificent. Okay, so now we're going to get go all the way back down this way. This is a Jo Malone set. The only reason why I'm putting this in here is, again, I did want to try some of the intense ones that I didn't have, and the two missing is a Saffron and Oud and Bergamot. The Saffron's actually quite lovely, and Oud and Bergamot, it's, um, it's okay. So I did purchase it, again, because I, I do like to try different things now, and I'd like to have a few to experiment and enjoy instead of getting stuck with a giant bottle. If I do love something, I will buy a bottle. Now, if there was music playing in the background, it would sound like the music from Rocky. I love this line. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I have to thank Eva in the City for mentioning Portrait of a Lady to me. And uh, there's a few others as well. It is so beautiful. And basically what it is, this is the first time that somebody decided to put out a fragrance collection and have other fragrant designers create so what happened is um frederick mall genius that he is let's take ours poudre went to oh, focus pierre all right not using the iphone 6 anymore after this sorry guys pierre bourdon and then dominique ropion who also did portrait of the lady and jean claude elaine who does a lot of the Amez Colognes and Brigagère Concentrate does smell a lot like Voyage from Amez. Uh, what they do is he said, let's just get together and give me the best that you, you can. And this whole line is basically, they're all beautiful. There's very few that I don't like. Now, they do make two sets like this from Frederick Mall. And it's funny because Frederick Mall is the most expensive out of all of these, yet their atomizer is the least expensive, which I'll get to that in a minute. So they do have a set like this. It's ginormous. Um, it's not too expensive in, in perspective. These, there's eight, are $200. This, there's six, is $150. I think there's 20 and it's $600. And it comes with the atomizer and a box and a case and all this glorious packaging and blah, blah, blah. They do make a smaller version for just men. And it does have a lot of the ones that I like anyway, and it's $400. I will probably be investing in one or two of those, or both. If the men's version isn't the bigger version, you're basically getting 20 
for $600. And when I say that, this is the size it comes in. The thing about Frederick Mall is they priced them according to the ingredients. So this is Portrait of a Lady, and this small atomizer was $70 or $80. Okay? Three of these are about 100 from um, Maison Francis Crocodile. And Bririto, I think three was 120 I bought Gypsy Water. So these, this one I think was 60 it was either 50 or 60 This I bought in Canada. It came out to about the same. 50 or, no, this was more. It was like 60 or 70 This was either 70 or 80 There's a difference in the prices. So um, I am going to probably invest in the largest set just so I have the, the to me, it's kind of like you know, when you have a library of books you like to sample. I like, obviously, I'm loving a little bit and then to enjoy and then to move on because basically you start to repeat yourself. When you start to buy these fragrances, you tend to lean towards the same. So at least this way I could sample, like if I'm going to get a, a fresh version, let's say this right here. This is a very fresh, this is, I'm wearing it today, this is Blanche. There you go. And as if we're going to say fresh, let's just go into uh, Kirkajan over here. We can say Aqua Universal Forte is fresh. Even though it says musky floor, it's delicious. It's fresh. And the, all basically half of these are fresh. And Brigadier Concentrate and Cologne Delva are both fresh. So you start to repeat yourselves. Um, but this is a nice way to try it. Now, getting into the whole atomizer. Here are three of the sizes. The Gypsy Water, oops, ooh, is the largest, 12 milliliters, 11 milliliters, 10 milliliters. The atomizer for this is $45. It comes in black or red only. The atomizer for this is $100 for the color, like the cap, which is zinc colored. Oh, iPhone, shame on you. And the gold is $125 in the Globe Trotter. And for Bririto, it's $125 for a leather atomizer in black, brown, and burgundy. What I am going to buy, I am going to buy none of my Creed atomizers. These will not fit in the Creed atomizers. The Frederick Mall might, all right? But um, I, did the, I did check them all out, and they will all fit in the Bririto one for $125. And basically what you don't want is you don't want it to click around and bend around since these are all almost the same and the Bririto one is padded I don't mind buying one of those and then sharing it for all my um, other fragrances the ones you get for Tom Ford first of all the Tom Ford atomizer are the most generous they're these are these are um, I would say this is 12 milliliters I think the Tom Ford is close to it's almost uh, 20 it's, it's it's huge it's much bit it's much much larger and it does last a long time i will look up the specs on that but it's at least uh 50 to 75 percent more than 12 milliliters i don't know why i don't remember the name of this is see this is going to bother me now so basically you put this inside you slip out the atomizer you slip it in the one in tom four will jiggle around and break and it's not padded. It's a very, very, very extremely El Cheapo. It's a freebie. They give it to you. Don't let when you buy a Tom Ford fragrance or if you're in Bloomingdale's and say, oh, I'm going to give you this atomizer. It retails for 120 No, if you look at the bottom of it, if you turn the atomizer over in Tom Ford, not for sale. It's a gift. And when you go on the website, they're supposed to give you an atomizer. And uh, the essays want to make you feel special by thinking they're giving you one. You can actually go in there. And request it, even if you've bought from them in the past, and they look up your search history if you had a problem with it, they're supposed to give you one. If not, you call Tom Ford, and they'll straighten them out. Trust me, I've been down that road. I had a broken atomizer, and I had a hard time in Bloomingdale's getting it taken care of. I called Tom Ford, and I told them where I bought it. They just mailed me one. They just sent me one in the mail, and it wasn't a problem. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite large atomizer, but the atomizer itself is large and bulky and boxy and squared off and not it's not a pleasant thing to carry in your purse the atomizer for barbito is just like this it's slim like this like the creed ones they're cylinder shaped and they're slim so i will do an updated video when i do buy the barbito atomizer this is what i have here going up today i hope everyone's having a nice memorial day weekend and i am trying to break up my videos a little bit uh, fragrance wise I did a bunch of other ones I don't know what else there is to do really except maybe an updated one I would have to do it according to brand so any 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 ideas give me a holla 
I do have some niche ones, singular bottles that I have bought in the past. I do think I have them listed on my Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. And like I said, thank you very much. Oh, I'm such a really quick. <laughs> Portrait of Lee is magnificent. Lasts all day. These are both fresh. This is the softest iris you'll ever find. The samples from Frederick Ma come like this. And they also do come on a card like this, which I think is pretty nice. And this is the same size as what you find in here. So thank you very much for watching and for putting up with my babbling. And take care. Bye.